Welcome back to Indiana News Desk. Well, it's been nearly two decades since Brew 10 cicadas were last seen in Bloomington. Emma Atkinson reports on what you need to know as the insects reemerge this month. Beneath the ground right now, millions of small winged bugs are waiting. And sometime in the next few weeks, these cicadas will burst forth almost all at once. Brood 10 is the group of periodical cicadas that emerges from the dirt once every 17 years to shed their crunchy exoskeletons, sing, mate, and usher their babies back into the dirt before the cycle starts anew. I think there's no question that they're probably the most abundant insect in forests um, in North America because you can get sometimes over a thousand emerging out of just one square meter of, of land. Andrew Liebold says brood 10 cicadas are likely to appear in mass at the edges of forested land, mostly because they feed on liquid from tree roots. So if you have lots of trees on or near your property, you're likely to see most cicadas at the edge of the tree group or in a clearing. If you have big broadleaf trees in your yard that are sort of open grown rather than close canopy, the odds are probably pretty good you'll, you'll have a lot of periodical cicadas because that's the habitat they like. They don't feed at all on conifers. So if you have a pine or a spruce, they're not gonna, they don't feed on those. You'll see them before you hear them, but when the song of the brood 10 cicadas begins, it'll be tough to hear anything else. The rattling and buzzing of their mating call is like a bendy straw. You know, the kind you'd stick in a milkshake or soft drink. Now imagine the sound it makes when you bend the ribbed part of the straw back and forth. That's basically the mechanism cicadas use to sing. They don't have vocal cords like we do. They actually have this organ called a timbre on the side of their body that they contract and that's what make, makes the noise. Um, most of their abdomen is actually hollow. So it's sort of like with um, something like with a violin where you've got that hollow space that allows the strings of the instrument to make um, a, a louder sound. And it can get loud, really loud. I'm assuming if you were underground um, for 17 years and it's time to come out and, you know, make friends and populate, you would make a lot of noise as well. So it's going to be about 100 decibels. Oren and his team at Bluestone Tree have been busy over the last few weeks preparing for the arrival of these insects. Not only is brood 10 noisy, but they can actually threaten the health of young trees. The female cicadas lay their eggs in small slits they create in horizontal tree branches. That won't affect an established healthy tree much, but younger trees could lose a significant amount of branches or even die if too many females use them to incubate their eggs. That's why some homeowners are covering their trees. You don't need to go all the way to the ground with this. You just need to go and bunch it up just around the branch where all the branches come out of the stem because the cicadas are going to attach themselves to the underside of the branch. Homeowners and businesses hire Oren and his team to outfit their young trees in gauzy fabric to keep the cicadas away. It's a lot of guesstimating. It's kind of just seeing how, how wide the canopy is going to be and then draping it over and making sure that you can bunch everything up around the bottom without compressing the tips of the branches too much. But if you're concerned about a young tree in your yard, you don't have to hire a service to prep it for the cicada onslaught. Oren says any fine mesh fabric will do, as long as it's white, to keep the tree cool in the sun. Painter's tape works just fine for securing the fabric to the tree's trunk. And don't worry about your vegetable garden. Cicadas prefer trees and will leave your tomato plants and herbs alone. All that's left to do now, sit back and wait for the cicadas to emerge. Once they start, most will emerge within just a couple of days, and the singing won't be far behind. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Emma Atkinson.